Hello everyone, my name is Hal and in this series we're going to showcase photo editing in Darktable. In this first edition we're going to just use the basic group, so all the modules in the basic group. We've already discussed all of those modules in the Darktable from A to Z series. You can refer to all of those videos in the playlist. I have not done this before. Uh, I have edited this uh, image or similar image from the same series a while ago but using different tools the whole point is to go through the thought process together and see what we end up with and what we can learn the first module i would consider is the white balance do i need to change anything here do the colors and the whites look correct i think so I can try different presets that's just to see if I like anything better. How about cloudy? Oh, the colors pop a little bit more. Well, of course, we don't want that. Yeah, I think I like this one. Next, I'll go into the mosaic and change it to a maze. Next, we'll go into the crop and rotate module. I'd like to crop a bit of this photo first to get rid of some of distractions in the edges here. But as well, the lens distortion, as you can, I can see that the clouds are a little bit distorted and that's because I was using an extremely wide angle lens. So let's see if we can focus more on the subject in the middle. I think I wide um, aspect ratio would work better so let's try the 16.9 of course landscape maybe put in some guides hmm. Well, I either have to make it more uh, a wider aspect ratio to get rid of this vegetation here, or I will have to include a bit more. I like this part of the hedge here. Let's try a wider aspect ratio and see if it works. Yeah, probably cut a bit too much of the sky. Okay, I'm going to go back to the original image then and try to use the vegetation in the front and all right, that looks okay. Hmm. This is quite subjective, of course, but I think I like this cut. I don't think there's any need to rotate. I think the horizon here is quite straight. I think that's okay for this module. Let's go into the exposure module next. And for that one, I'm going to enable the over under exposed indication here. And you can directly see the overexposed areas are in red. Underexposed areas would be in blue, but we don't have any here. 
we'll try to create some here the blue are underexposed of course you can refer to the video on the exposure module for more information uh, let's reset it I think I'm going to pull the highlights a little bit down try to recover as many as I can what about this do I need to yeah is that better I think so gonna have to work on the shadows in a bit Okay. Let's make another one. New instance. And I'm going to create a mask and try to get as many of this buildings as I can in. Do I want the other part? Yeah, let's. Of course, you can try to use other mask ma masking methods maybe for a better result let's try this one first I'll toggle the display and try to limit it more to what we want let's see yeah that looks okay let's get rid of those and then I'm going to try to raise the exposure a bit. Is that too much? No, I think I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the reflection here could use some work. What do I want to use for that? Hmm. I think I'll keep it for another module. Let's go into the contrast brightness saturation. I'm going to put in some contrast. of brightness and quite some saturation see the effect yeah okay let's put on a new instance and this one I want to try to maybe fix the reflection a bit let's see if we can do it with this one I probably would have used the tone curve for it but let's have a look So a bit more contrast, not that much, <laughs> and quite some brightness, a bit more saturation maybe, is 
that too much. Maybe a bit here. That's maybe because we've already added some saturation in this area. Let's try to fix the mask. Now pull the mask away from that area. Mm-hmm. Some feathering. Yeah. Let's add another instance and add some contrast, just a little bit of contrast on the whole image. Might be a bit too much. Now let's compress the history stack and we can click on the crop and rotate step here, take a snapshot, then go back, select the snapshot and we can compare what we've done. I think it's not really a bad result considering that we've hamstrung ourselves by just uh, limiting ourselves to the basic group but it showcases what you can do with just some basic knowledge of Darktable a quick edit that's less than 30 minutes long even with the explanations and the trial and error and still got a usable result well that's it for this time I hope that you find this kind of uh, videos interesting uh, if you do, please let me know, then I'll try to make more of them. We will continue with the uh, dark table for A to Z series as well. Uh, next, we'll be moving to more uh, advanced modules and uh, different groups. If you have any uh, suggestions or uh, remarks or uh, corrections, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.